kind of figured out what it is. If you guys are hiding from me, so I think everything's hunky-dory when we're at peace, God sees everything is what it is. If you guys really back down, like authentically back down, authentically give up, authentically leave me out of the loop, authentically quit plotting against my life, authentically quit plotting to frame me, authentically quit plotting to frame me, authentically quit plotting to frame me. If you guys authentically back off, not pretend, that's, that's, that's where you guys are making your mistake. You're waiting to see what I can notice and what I can do, and it's not me. <laughs> it's the creator of all the universes. See, the devil made you guys, right? The fallen angels made you guys. Mankind, I don't know how exactly it works, but when it comes down to the true beginning, you were made by God. Because if God made the devil and the devil made you, then God really made you because if God had not made the devil, then you would not have been made. You understand? God's the seed. He's the beginning. He's the alpha. And he's the omega. And uh, the petition I was going to give you guys is, up to now is, is uh, at this point, is gone. There's no petition. I'm not going to petition for, on your guys' behalf. I see you guys are just so dark and slimy. I don't, I don't see any redemption at all, but I'm not God. So we'll let God decide if there's any redemption in any of you hybrids. I don't think there is. I don't think you guys can be redeemed. I think it's impossible. But I'm not God, so be thankful I'm not God because you guys wouldn't have a chance. And I even feel bad for you guys sometimes more than possibly any human ever would on this earth. It makes me wonder if God has fit everything in over time on it for a purpose, you know? I mean, when I think about it, I don't think any humans that really knew the truth of the devil and God would ever really feel sorry for you guys at all. They probably just want to crush you guys out. And I do. And it's not because you guys are deluding me or deceiving me. It's because I have so much compassion for life. Maybe God thought I'd be in a certain place for a certain time for a certain point. Maybe the petition thing is not time yet, but maybe one day there will be a petition. However, for now, there's no petition. And, and your guys' best advice, the best advice I've given you was to completely back off and be real about it. Don't be fake. Because, you know, trillions of dollars aren't going to protect you against the Almighty. He sees everything. You can, you can fool me, but you can't fool him. So if you guys really back off, this has to come from the top. I would really... Who's ever leading you guys is leading you guys down a path of your own destruction. If you guys want some real guidance, then I would I would get someone in charge who is smart enough to say, look at, let's heed the words of advice. Let's just completely, really seriously forget this guy. Let's back off, leave him alone, and let's be real about it. Let's just completely do it. Let's just do it. And if you guys do that, then you guys are going to be surprised. But that's the smart way to go. You guys are making God work on things he doesn't really want to even deal with. I wouldn't want to have to deal with a bag of maggots, a bag of trash. I wouldn't want to have to deal with, you know, keeping focused on it, you know. Your best bet is to move away, but that's not going to help you. You have to completely let me go, and it has to be permanently. If your plan is crushed by some other means, it has nothing to do with me, because it always has to do with God, but say it's not my outlet, my, 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 uh, my camp, you should keep on trucking and like forget me for good. That's the best advice I can give you, is to forget me for good. Move along and just be happy with what you've got. You guys have completely completely violated my human rights. 
You guys have violated the Constitution over and over and over and over and over and over pertaining to me. Your best advice is to say, okay, yay, get, show the trophy, say we won, and just keep on trucking. That's how you win. Because you guys can get your plan, and if you guys move the right way, like I've been trying to advise you guys, then there's a really good probability your plan is going to be successful. It doesn't mean that you guys are going to win the grand plan. It just means that it can buy you guys a lot of time. But you guys need some time because... Uh... So that's, that's the advice. Are you smart enough to take it? We'll, we'll find out. As for me, I'm gonna to get to my worship service. I'm gonna start uh, my my day off on a positive note. And I don't wish any of you guys ill. I forgive you. I forgive my enemies. I wish you guys the best. I mean, I'm talking about like having go have a nice lunch, enjoy the day. It's a beautiful day outside. Take a break from your uh, from your uh, your work. And think about it later on, and maybe you'll be smart enough to take a permanent break. And that will give you guys a big boost. It will help you, and hopefully you're smart enough.